currently home to just under 3,000 full-time residential students who live, work, play, and eat on its campus and in the surrounding community. Because of Colgate's rural location, the university is the primary provider of most food and dining services to the student body. However, this vibrant community comes at a cost, particularly with regard to waste produced in the food production process. How much waste are we talking about, though? Well, Grace, let's take the coop as an example. Research done in 2014 by Colgate students found that over 14 and a half tons of waste was produced by the coop every year, enough to fill Taylor Lake many times over. And research done by the Office of Sustainability at Colgate and Dining Services has shown that more waste was produced over the 2015-2016 school year, approximately 20 tons more in the month of February this year than last year alone. That sounds like a lot of waste. Is there anything being done on campus to reduce those numbers? Actually, Grace, there has been. When Chartwells first started operating at the Coop at Colgate, they found that they were going through roughly 14 cases of to-go containers every day. Now, thanks to a variety of efforts, they're down to one full case of takeout containers and half a case of salad containers per day, over a 700% reduction. This still works out to 250 containers used every day, or almost 2,000 every week. Wow, that's definitely less, but it still seems like a lot of containers every day. Is there anything more we can do as students to reduce those numbers? Colgate is exploring the idea of implementing a reusable takeout container system wherever food can be taken to go at Colgate. So not only from the coop, but also from Donovan's pub. There are many different ways a system like this could work. For example, a system that works like a library book tracked in your gate card, or using automated machines around campus as return stations. Regardless of what this system ends up looking like, student support and participation is essential to its success. Sounds pretty interesting, but wouldn't that be really complicated? Like, do any other schools have programs like this? Clarkson University uses the Aussie Box system, with large machines that track usage through tokens. Grinnell College in Iowa uses a localized collection system that tracks usage on their student cards. Every unreturned box costs the students $10 at the end of the semester. Dickinson sells wooden tokens that can be used to run to takeout container, and students have to buy into the program again if they lose their token. Williams doesn't track their containers at all, but loses about 20% of them annually. There are many different ways schools around the country implement these programs. That's a great idea if it worked elsewhere, but how can Colgate avoid the challenges and get it to work here? Luckily, a survey completed in the spring of 2016 showed interest about implementing a program like this on campus from about 90% of the student body. Students said they would be more willing to participate in the program if there were more drop-off stations around campus, and if an extra fee was applied to disposable containers to incentivize the reusable ones. Additionally, a survey conducted in spring 2015 found that students were willing to pay one to one and a half dollars extra per meal at the coop for sustainable endeavors. Students at Colgate are luckily passionate about sustainability. So how would this program actually be implemented? What are the timing details? What can I expect as a student in the future? Well, some of that still has to be determined. This is a program that both dining services and sustainability want to happen at Colgate. In fact, they say that it needs to happen but they also need to ensure that it works effectively. So as a student, what you can probably expect is a pilot program operating out of Donovan's pub while potential issues get worked out, such as making sure the students return the containers. This program really can't work without student buy-in, so above all else, we need enthusiastic student participation. That sounds awesome, I can't wait. But earlier you talked about how we have a big problem with waste at Colgate. Is there anything I can do now to help out? Being mindful of what you are throwing out is important for changing campus culture. Only take food you know you will eat, and if you are planning on staying in the coop, grab a reusable plate. If everyone is mindful and conscious about what we are consuming, we can reduce carbon emissions at Colgate.